And she says, I wish that I could be like the video. Oh. Hi, Uncle Michael. <laughs> it's cold, so we have the heater on. Oh, wow. He probably has it with him on the whatever. You know? His mother, Mei Mei, also known as Alyssa, Coco, that's Austin, that's Auntie Ellie, Uncle Michael. That's my father. He's so great. Shot in high resolution. That's me. Being cremated is my last hope for a smoking hot body. We're getting ready to eat food. It's dinner time. Come on, Dad. Let's go. So this is what happens every year. We have photographers taking photos of us and our lovely food. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 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 Big booty. Come here, child. I just stop tickling my leg. Forever 21. I got my bubble drink from an Asian place, the food court. We went to the mall, obviously. And we're just waiting because Athens was very busy. Look, there's mine. Okay, this is what I'm wearing today, okay? I have my shirt that's really awesome, my jacket that's really awesome, my pants, and my boots. Hello, hello! <laughs> what if that was like my entry every day? Hello, hello! Hello! So we went into icings, right? To pick up Erica's nose ring and stuff. Expensive nose ring. Expensive. Well, she got like six of them in the pack. <laughs> and there's this guy that was working there, and his name was Victor. And he goes, Do you guys have a Twitter? Right here. Right here. Oh, <laughs> Erica almost missed our car. Um, Do you guys have a Twitter? And we were like, yeah, and he's all, oh, you guys should follow me. And so I take out my phone, and he ends up like taking our phones, and he like 
follows himself. And then he like relates it to work. He's all like, I will tell you guys about all the promotions that I sings I'm on. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a little sketchy about it. Look what I found. We're thrift shopping right now and I found a headband. But like where like ugh, it's just so great. But it's like boutique. Eleven dollars, but if I just wanted to show you guys because it's just so, so good. And then I found a lot of boutique stuff that I'm wanting, so I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three females. Don't forget Judy. <laughs> Lorenzo. 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 Okay. Your turn. Oh, shoot. Um, it's so hard. Logan. 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 Oh. We're in California, guys. Exactly. Wait, read it! One ugly son of a gun farted in a hole before the beginning of time in the middle of the earth because Ryan Wilson beat him in the beanbag. Brett Martin, who? Brett Martin's collection of vintage calculators, fax machines, raw meat, and Ugg boots. Came into the room at the exact time that Brett Martin seized a little prit pickle, screamed Sacramanus Antibian, and finally looked it. When, at the conclusion of the pop-up with your heart leg with Lorenzo's amazing underwear, where in the moldy crevices of Brett's PC tower, which he squeezes his head into, into every into every night and absorbs information with his hairline until his hairline fills back out. Um, because Brett's, Brett's Martin slapped his father's beak and bald head, and both of them jumped back into defense formation and snarled algebraic Oh, that's yeah, the Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick outro because my battery died while I was at the party, but um, yeah, so um, I plan to do daily vlogs for all of 2015, and so that's going to be interesting. Um, I wanted to start out with, but I forgot to start um, this today's vlog with um, what I learned in my devotions. Um, so every every day I want to uh, share what I learned and today I would think I was reading Matthew 4 where Jesus was tempted in the in the wilderness in the desert and as well as he picking out um, his few first few of his disciples and um, a couple of things that I learned was that after Satan tempted um, Jesus, it said that the angels attended to him. And it's like, does the angels attend to us? And then I was thinking, well, Jesus attends to us. He knows our needs. He has our best interests at heart. So that's even far greater than angels. I felt like I was kind of putting angels on like a pedestal of like, angels, I want angels to attend to me. But it's like, no, God attends to our every need. He's greater. So that's awesome. And then, um, the second thing that I learned is that Jesus chose ordinary people, like poor people, like in a small town, um, like they were fishermen, they were, they were nobodies, and like God chose us, God loved us, God wants to teach us, God wants us to follow him, and so I thought that was just really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!